1790, as George Washington prepared to give his first State of the Union address at the Capitol in New York City, where the first Supreme Court was also meeting, the Pendleton District was founded right here in South Carolina. Well, what makes Pendleton special is its history. You know, um, yeah, Pendleton is a unique place, and, it, and if you, all you got to do is walk up here and take one look at our our town square, and you'll see how unique the place is, and, and how beautiful it is, and, and people are attracted to its to its rich history. Um, Pendleton was founded in 1790. Uh, the official date was April 8, 1790, and uh, at that time, it was Pendleton District, and uh, Pendleton was probably the most influential town in the upper part of the state at that time until it was separated out, and I believe it was 1826 when it became Anderson, Oconee, and Pickens Counties after that. But uh, Pendleton is unique. We continue to make history, we think, and uh, we continue to make progress in the town of Pendleton. So, as we say, we're definitely 225 and we're alive. Well, I think the town of Pendleton is a crown jewel in the upcountry of South Carolina. Pendleton has just done a magnificent job over the past 225 years. They have a tremendous history. As this came up, I got more and more into the history of Pendleton, and it, it is very amazing <clears throat> to look at what's happened over the past 225 years. Obviously, we were part of the Cherokee Nation, but then as the town began to, uh, be, it was kind of immigrated by the Scotch-Irish, the legislature made it the center of the Pendleton District, and of course, uh, the courthouse was going to be there, and then all of a sudden, the Pendleton District was split, the courthouse was sold to the Farmer Society, but there's a very special piece of this that I want you Andersonians to hear. You see, the Low Country planters and politicians would come to Pendleton to spend their summers to escape the heat, the malaria, and the mosquitoes. Well, there was a very special low country girl that came to Pendleton, and her name was Virginia Kramer. And she came here and she fell in love with an Andersonian named Swain Gilmer. They got married and she was gonna have a baby, but it was a terrible birth and she decided this area needed a hospital. So who am I talking about? Virginia Gilmer, who started what is now today Amen Health, was in this area simply because she fell in love with some Pendleton guy. We're always known for the Spring Jubilee. And I have a lot of really high quality arts and crafts at that event, and I'd say that's where it really differs from a lot of others that you see, because the quality of merchandise you'll see there. People come back year after year um, to, to, to go to that event. And um, this year, of course, because of the 225th anniversary, we're having a lot of other, other events besides just the Spring Jubilee and the Fall Festival and that. Um, we're having events throughout the year. We've had a lot already this year. But the, well, yeah, the, the 225th anniversary is really special to us because, as I said again, Pendleton was founded in, in 1790. Um, you know, official date was April the 8th, and that was the reason they, they nailed that down as being the official date is because uh, that that was when Pendleton was was sold by a gentleman named Isaac Lynch, who he sold the land to, to what is now the town of Pendleton for uh, five shillings. And I don't know how much money that was back then. Uh, it doesn't sound like much, but uh, anyway, he sold it to the land commissioners, which uh, would have been Andrew Pickens and Robert Anderson, and you know, which Anderson and Pickens counties are named after. Um, but that's when the town of Pendleton was formed. Was formed. And of course, since then, Pendleton has, has continued to make history even after that time. But uh, Pendleton has been one of the most progressive areas in, in the upstate for years. So this whole area here has, has been quite an, an area to live in, I guess, even back in that day. Um, Pendleton was named after Judge Henry Pendleton, who was a Virginian who fought in the revolution. And then he stayed here. He, he just decided this, this was such a great place that he wanted to be here. So uh, 
I think Pendleton's uh, 225th anniversary is very unique in that we're recognizing all that history and we're also recognizing the modern history. You know, we continue to make history here every day. We're, we're just, just still a very progressive town and we have a lot of great partnerships with Clemson University, Tri-County Technical College, and uh, you know, our newspapers around here. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a good place. If you've never been here, there's a, there's a lot of little small towns, you know, throughout the country, throughout the South. But I think what makes Pendleton different uh, primarily is, is, you know, is people one thing and where we're situated. And uh, you have unique shopping in Pendleton that you don't see anywhere else. Um, there are things here that I don't think you'll find anywhere else. There's history here that is uh, just amazing, really. It's just nothing short of amazing. You know, we have, you know, we have uh, two uh, antebellum homes here. One of them is Woodburn Plantation over here, which is just outside of them, which is, is amazing in itself. And then Ashley Beulah, there's another one out here off of uh, Old Rainbow Highway, or Highway 88, which is also pretty amazing. If you wanted to go to St. Paul's and just uh, walk through the graveyard, there is a lot of history in that graveyard over there, you know, as to who's buried over there. Uh, Barnaby D., who gave Stonewall Jackson his name, is buried there. Thomas Clemson. Uh, you know, there's just a ton of history over there in that church. And uh, that's, an, that's another thing. And we, you, you could spend uh, days here, actually, um, you know, a couple months here if you really wanted to see it all. There's just a lot of stuff to see. And uh, in the meantime, there's a lot of things going on around that you can have fun doing, too. Um, there's a there's just a lot of things in this area to see and do. Uh, it is truly a, a unique place and a special place. And, and the people are, I think, one of the biggest reasons it's special is because we have you know, a real sense of community here. Everybody knows everybody. You've got a small town feel. But yet, <clears throat> you're, you're close to a lot of other, other attractions and a, a lot of other opportunities close around you here. So it's, it's truly a great place to live.